the Dead Sea. It's dead because all the water comes down and it has no place to go. It's 33% salt. That's why you float in it. The, the Dead Sea. It is an unparalleled wonder of the world, the lowest exposed spot on Earth. Its therapeutic waters are so full of salt that bathers float right to the top. This natural spa is a source of rich minerals used by the ancient Egyptians for mummification and fabled to be the biblical site of Sodom and Gomorrah, but today the Dead Sea is dying and its banks are collapsing. The water level is dropping close to four feet every year. The main part of the lake is now around 950 feet deep about 15% shallower and a third of the surface area, compared to its shape half a century ago, the Dead Sea is shrinking, and as it recedes, the freshwater aquifers along the perimeter of the lake are receding along with it. As this freshwater diffuses into salt deposits beneath the surface of the shoreline, the water slowly dissolves the deposits until the earth above collapses without warning. More than 1,000 sinkholes have appeared in the past 15 years. In that time, sinkholes have swallowed a portion of road, date palm fields, and several buildings on the sea's northwest coast. Environmental experts believe that hotels along the shore are also in danger. The good news is that if you get swallowed by a sinkhole, they name it after you, Bromberg Deadpants. The dramatic decline in the Jordan is the main reason why the Dead Sea is also vanishing. The level of the world's saltiest large body of water is falling by a meter each year and the sea could disappear in 50 years, experts say. Years of conflict between the main users of the river, revered by Christians, Muslims, and Jews, have contributed to the crisis. The river meanders for 200 kilometers along the lush Jordan Valley, separating Jordan, Israel, and the West Bank.